Today we're going to take a look at portraits inside of Luminar AI. Folks, I'm Sean McCormick. I'm an Adobe Community Professional for Lightroom. I am also a Fuji X photographer, an official Fuji X photographer. And so like I say, we're going to take a look at Luminar and portraits. So let's jump straight in and we're skipping the whole Lightroom phase. We're literally inside the plugin already. So if you want to get notified of when there's new videos in this series online, do subscribe and hit the notification bell. Over 92% of you are not subscribed, so I would appreciate a few more subscriptions. Uh, here's an image of uh, model Ian, and we can see here that it's suggesting a few things. It's suggesting influencer, um, filmatic, and experimental. And I am going to go with experimental. So inside here, we have a couple of different options. So you click to see what they do. So here's burn film, celebrate, which is kind of cool, cold frame, color ramp, glow, and feather light. So look in there, I'm kind of... Burn film, I think, is where I want to go with this. Although I do kind of like celebrate. Um, so I think we go with burn film and we will work our way from there. So straight into edit, uh, we can see there's a couple of things going on. Um, we can jump down here, we can see that face AI is here. Now the issue here is that it was going to have trouble with skin, I think, because of the fact that the skin color is obviously completely wrong here. So let me just jump into skin and see if it's doing stuff with shine removal. I'm not seeing much happening there. And see if a mount does stuff. Yeah, I can see stuff happening there, all right. So I'm just checking that stuff is going on with this as well. So, right, so Skin AI will basically map out where the skin is. Um, it's doing this via color, so it's gonna have a little bit of a trouble with this because of the fact that the, uh, well, you know, there isn't a natural skin color. You can still detect the face from the features in the face. And um, we can see this by using face light. If we bump up face light way too much, we can see that face that is working correctly and if we want we can slim face from there all right so what we're here for really is to kind of use some of the more dramatic stuff uh, it's also to show stuff that we haven't shown already and so if we come in here we can see there's a dot on local masking so if we click here we can see there is a texture loaded all right and um, there's two options in local masking you can use basic or texture if we click on basic we can have a look at what it does here so we can see here we have some settings that we can paint in uh, we can also use a radial mask or a gradient mask on it as well. So I'm just letting you know that you can do that basically. So I'm going to turn that off and we're going to go back to our texture. Now you load a texture file by clicking on this and then you can load whatever texture you want. To be able to see the texture file itself, if we go to advanced settings, we can change the blend mode from screen to normal. So this is what the actual texture file looks like. Okay, so there's a couple of things we can do here to work on it. We can flip it and we can move it around basically. So where do we want it to be? I think we want it kind of to be there rather than at the bottom. And then we can change our blend mode back to screen. So screen technically does weird things. It kind of inverts both layers. It applies a multiply and then it inverts the results. So it's kind of strange, All right? Um, you can also go and have a look at some of the other blend modes uh, to see if you does anything that you prefer. But in this case here, I think screen is actually the, the best option. I'm gonna bring the opacity down a small bit as well because it's a little bit strong on that. And the other thing that we're going to do then is jump back straight away to our edits. Now, the big thing that we see here that is actually creating the kind of most of the look is not stuff like enhance, which we can of course use. We don't need sky enhancer, there's no sky. So now the accent is bringing up too much of the background, which I don't like, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm actually probably going to come down here to the blacks and bring them down. And I know that when I go in here, I'm probably going to find that there is a little bit of, if it's letting me scroll, that is of course. Uh, I thought there might be some matte being used here, but there's not, but there is mood. So mood is using a look called burned film and it's quite strong. So I'm actually gonna pull it back a small bit here and I'm gonna add some of that saturation back in because this is quite a saturated image and I think it needs it. Uh, and we're gonna add a little bit of glow, I think as well. So we can have soft focus glow or alternate effects. So we're gonna go for a little bit of glow all right, I like that. And at any stage, of course, we can have a look at the before and after. So I, I kind of love the effect. This I love the fact that we, we have that kind of blocked up color as well for that kind of retro look. I think that's really, really cool. Now we could go for the actual matte and we could add a little bit of fade if we wanted, but I think we need to keep that vividness and keep a little bit of contrast in there as well. And I think then what we're going to do is we're just going to fade the whole effect all together. 
And again, as well as using the slide across, you can also click the eye tool to do a before and after preview. So there's a couple of things you can see happening there. You can see that we have the face being slimmed. We have the light in the face as well, as well as the effect, of course, that we're getting from the local masking. So that's a quick look at stuff that you can do inside the Luminar AI for your portraits. In this case, it's a creative portrait and I've done a little bit more to it and I'm quite happy with the result. Thanks for watching. Of course, do subscribe to the channel, all that kind of stuff. Give the video a like, share it with your friends and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified of new videos when they come online. Thanks for taking time to watch this and of course, I will see you in the next video.